Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I wanted to explain how you can create large, complicated networks with a very simple topology that you don't have to be recabling over and over again. So I have GNS3 pulled up. Now, of course, you can also do this with your equipment and it's very simple to do. All you have to do is have one switch in the middle and then you connect all of your routers to that switch. In this case, I only have three routers, but you can potentially have more. If you had five or six, 10, 20, as long as the switch can support that number of ports, you can definitely do that. So let me show you, uh, in this case, I'm using GNS3, uh, but this can be, of course, done on your Cisco router. All you have to do is configure that switch uh, to have trunk ports, and everywhere you connect a router, you configure that port as a trunk port. And that's really all it is that you need to do. And just allow all VLANs through that trunk, and, and that's it. So as you can see, in GNS3, I have them configured as the trunk ports. So I'll leave that there. And notice here that I just have one interface on the router that's connected over to the switch. Now, let me show you how easy it is to go about uh, doing this configuration. And it's just, it's, it's pretty crazy. So let me, it might not be actually crazy if you have uh, done this before, but for those of you that may be new, you can really take your studying to the next level if you learn how to use sub interfaces early on in your routing studies. So I have a couple of interfaces here. I think, I believe I only have two. So let me do this, uh, show IP interface brief. Okay, well in this case I have two interfaces. Let's just imagine we only have one or we only want to use one interface, the gig uh, one zero. Notice how it's turned off uh, by default because it's a router. So let me go ahead and issue the no shut command on all of the uh, routers here. Okay, so now they are all up. So notice how they're up. Good. So the good news is that's really all you have to do on the side of the physical interface. Now what you need to do is create a sub-interface. And it, it's a good thing, it's, it's very simple to do. So all you have to do is go to conf t, interface gig one zero, and then you type a dot, then whatever you want your sub-interface number to be. Now, preferably, you would want to use a number that's logical. So what I mean is if you're going to create um, a interface between three and four, you can go ahead and call it dot three, four. Hit enter, and now you have created that sub interface. But you're not done yet. What you need to do is encapsulate with dot one Q to whatever VLAN that you're going to be using in that segment. In this case, I'm just going to use 3.4 because that just makes it very simple for me to go, go about creating the network. So I'm just going to call it 3.4 and that's it. So now if I go back, I can see that I have this new sub interface. And so it's up and up. Now right now, Essentially, router three is on another uh, network all by itself. Now, I wanted to create this network with router four as well. So let me go ahead and bring up router four, which I have here. And I'm gonna go ahead and create that same uh, interface number. Now, the interface numbers don't have to match, or the sub-interface numbers, but what does have to match is the encapsulation. So the encapsulation in this case was 34, which it was on the other side as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now you have the encapsulation. So 
Now what you need to do is go ahead, like in any router, you have to configure the IP address. So let me go back to router 3 and I'll go back to that sub interface and I'm gonna make the IP address something of course logical for a lab. I'm just gonna make it all 34s and then the router number and then it's gonna be a slash 24 network. Uh, there's no need to do a no shut uh, but it's just kind of a habit of mine. So on router 4 I'm gonna do something very similar. So it's gonna be dot four in the slash 24 network. And there you go. So now, if we look, we have that IP address assigned. And of course, if you did your subnetting correctly, which in this case I did, you can go ahead and ping router 4 and now you're able to ping router 4 and of course on the other side you're able to ping router 3 and right now it doesn't seem like much of a big deal right I mean it's pretty much a point-to-point -point connection between routers 3 and 4 but now the cool thing about this that I'm going to show you next is that you can have a network segment with as many routers as you want between whichever routers that you want as long as you give them the right um, encapsulation on that sub interface. So let's just say that we wanted to create a network, uh, Ethernet segment between 3, 4, and 5. So it would be as if they were all on the same VLAN slash network segment. So normally you can't do that if you're just plugging one router to another. If we tried to do that, you would just have one network here and one network here. Now this way, it's as if they were all in the same segment. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call it, um, let's just say, I wanna bring up my notepad here. And I'm gonna do it in notepad because it's gonna be kind of redundant to be going back and forth. So. I'm going to call this 100 and then the IP address is going to be 100 100 100 dot whatever the IP address is um, so let's go ahead and do that oh and of course you have to encapsulate with dot 1q and then this is going to be dot 100 so I'm going to go ahead and copy that and paste this is going to be router 3 This is going to be router 4. And this is going to be for router 5. So I'm copying the command. So once again, in case you, you missed it, it's pretty simple. You just open up that sub interface. You specify what VLAN is going to be uh, using that subnet and that. Uh, Ethernet segment, give it an IP address on the interface, and you should be good to go. So here I have three, four, and five. So now, if I go to router three, I can ping router four, and I can ping router five because they're all on my segment. So of course, if I go ahead and ping the network segment, you'll see that I have router 4 and 5 in my segment, which is really what, what we want. So once again, just to prove to you, I can ping 5, and I can ping 3. And on this side, I can ping 3 it again and I can ping for so this is a very very simple example to how you can really go about creating these co more complex networks so right now just in this short 10 minute span we created one network one point-to-point -point network between 3 and 4 and then we created a larger network between 3 4 and 5 
So when doing things like this, uh, some of these different topologies have, um, a, you might run into some caveats with OSPF or AIGRP or BGP. So being able to do this while just connecting all of your routers to a switch really enables you to spend more time on the command line rather than plugging and unplugging um, routers and doing things like that when really if you were to create these sub interfaces you can really take your uh, routing studies to the next level so I hope this video was interesting and you guys found it useful so um, if you did go ahead and leave a like and I will see you guys next time